Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 41 of Let's Play European Vassals for Monday of the Heaven is Ming. In the last part, <clears throat> we were preparing something I don't remember. That's a. Uh, hmm. You know what? We should probably get a loan. That might help me a little bit. Uh, so I think, yeah, maybe Orissa was the next one in, but I can't exactly remember what we were doing. Uh, no, Malacca was next. Yes, yeah, so we're waiting for these. We're going to need those cores to go down, and then we're going to do Malacca. I'm pretty sure that's what I said we were going to do. I don't exactly remember, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say that was it. Uh, we could declare one Malacca now. But, um... Yeah, fuck it. How long is wait? When do when do these get done? So we'll see when our things get done. They get done in November of next year, so a year. I don't see it ta me taking a year to take over Malacca. I don't see it taking anywhere near that long. So maybe we just hold off for now. There's no reason to do anything. Ah, sod it. We'll just go to war. Let's just do it. Yeah, I can't advance that way until I've uh, dealt with their army. Yeah, we already have this island, so I should have put an army there as well. I'll get the uh, guys there. I was going to try and breach the walls, but they seem to have already breached themselves. How convenient. How convenient, I dare say. I dare say. Right, there we go. One uh, route on our two star versus two star. We should be. Yep, that went better than I expected. Although the navy does need to go up there anyway, just because. Uh, someone declared one hour tributary Russia. Can't believe people would do that. Russia's my little bitch, and they will stay that way. Yeah, as I expected, this war did not take very long. We're going to sit there for now just to stop them out. Those assholes moving out of there while uh, my men are moving. The 14th of September. There we go. Nice little destruction. We have we got eight. We have not got eight uh, cannons there yet. Or the eight bonus from cannons. Our best leader is a... Is one siege. Wow. <laughs> All right. I mean, kind of got shafted on generals there, but oh well. Yeah, they're there. They they will give me everything I want. Is that annexation? It is annexation. Apparently, they won't let me, t let me take all the money with off them. But they will let me take that that much of it. And we did it just before um, the uh, just after the shit come off. So we'll probably just leave three armies here. We'll leave four. We'll put one there. This army will uh, move over to uh, help me deal with Orissia when I decide to deal with them. Um. Well, I'm making Mandate, but <clears throat> I do want to destroy Arista. Oh, I still have an army in Arista. We should probably not uh, get rid of them until after that. Can I have any more armies? Oh, of course I can. Let's get some then. You know what? Fuck it. <clears throat> We're just going to increase our current armies by 10k. <clears throat> and I think that will uh, do much, be much better for us. Yeah, we are uh, we are a glorious power. I definitely think we're going to be uh, perfectly okay in this war. It's going to take a long ass time to get all these guys, their men, but fuck it, I can wait. 
I mean, I'd love to kill everyone Kashmir, but they'll be part of the Inagar in a minute, so no point. Oh yeah, Arissa, we're not friends anymore. Russia has entered their golden era. I could enter a golden era. I wish, well, I wish I could. Yeah, we're now cannon-based armies because I have so much cannon, so many cannons. I don't really mind that we look. We've, I've got the cannon look. I think this army will be fine. I don't really have anyone I can defeat on my board now. Like the wrist is the only person I can really grow into. There's no reason to attack them, uh, Great Britain because they're. I'm pretty sure they they're scared of me as it is. Apparently, I I am domineering towards them. I think it's more that I think that I think it would be more of I uh, think they're pricks, but you're sure domineering. While I think about it, we don't need our ports on for now, so we may as well make some money. Oh yeah, that's where a lot of my armies are. Uh, currently, we've uh, yeah we've gone up 60k so far. We're going up another bit because we still uh, got there. Uh, we'll be going up uh, to probably 70k in a minute because we still got some men left. Conquer row. I don't want to do that though. Unless row is part of uh, here, then in which case I do want to do it. I don't know where row is, and I don't think I care enough to look. You know that extra dis discipline sounds nice. The extra I thought I was, oh, was going to see extra morale there. No, I'll accept the morale uh, discipline only then. Why is my discipline? It's only 119. So yeah, I don't have high discipline, unfortunately. I'm no Prussia. Uh, so when can we declare war against these idiots? Um, 62. So we've still got some time to kill. I mean, we could kill it by going to war with Vienegar. I don't know why we would, but we could. Also, I'm pretty sure like Japan is completely like content as a place. So, and you know what? You two, you're gonna go. I don't need a civilian navy anymore. I have four tributaries. Oh shit! Yeah, I am fine. I'm losing thing again. Do I have anyone to become who wants to become my tributary? Miwa, you help slightly. I should be able to have so four armies is 100k. So we can have all but one army on there. This will be the Japan army that's going to stay in Kyoto. All the other armies are going to get over here and start helping. Oh! I have a feeling I built my armies when I was still vast like, uh, these guys were still under my thing. So, uh... So it looks like my armies were not gonna, my men were not coming. Which is very unfortunate. I think what we're going to aim for this war is to get myself into a position where we're going to be, be able to beat the living piss out of Yenigar from a new, like, probably just, like, cut off Yenigar from uh, Arisia and just fix my border over here. Uh, dude, I am looking forward to a war with Yenigar. I don't see them beating me, which is the reason I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to bring these guys over here and drop them off. Uh, we got some builds we can build. We need to build. We oh, did not need to build that. Come on, we've got a lot of barracks to build. Okay, we're nearly done with barracks. Or armories or training fields. Whichever one I'm building. It's training fields. Barracks is the first one. Whatever. We're almost done is what matters. First things first, let's uh, get ourselves some men deployed into position. That makes sense. Fuck, I put two armies there. There we go. Right, you. Get 
could still have more armies that I do this with. Okay, we should be able to get all of these armies on this border have it with it. Let's check. Yes, we can. And that's all we can do. So, yeah, we've got a lot of men. And they're all ready to destroy Rissia. I mean, I, I would completely, like, eat Rissia and, like, just, like, I'd put myself over 100% overextension, but I really don't want to. Like, at the moment, I just don't feel like that's necessary right now. Russia has 236 divisions. Still under me. Still content. I'm going to improve Russia's relations with me. I think they deserve it. Well, we have a reason to fight uh, Vienegar. Not really something I want to do this second. I think I'm going to focus on uh, Arisia first. I think I'm like I'm definitely going to take these just because I want to like these three. I definitely want to cut. I just want to kind of cut them off from it. Just because, well, it's mine. I could make Vienegar a uh, subsidiary, but I intend to destroy them. I intend to eat majority of it. Or as much as I can possibly eat. Wow. Yeah, this navy needs to go up to 200k. You know what? We can get out to 300. Pretty sure we can do that. And apparently we're missing a big ship, so we'll get that big ship and everything. Come on, when is it, po when is it possible? Come on. October of this year. So in October, this empire will fall. Pretty swiftly, I'd say. I mean, if we look at in military, yeah, no one has got anything to compare to me. And income, I'm double France, so yeah, I don't see them. Pe I don't see these assholes being a problem anymore. And something tells me these fleets are gonna get this fleet's gonna get pretty uh, built pretty quickly, which is gonna be good because we're gonna need it to be built pretty quickly. Or because I don't really want it getting destroyed personally. I don't, it doesn't sound like fun. Right, I could do this one. Uh, yeah, we'll just, for now, we'll just advance into the like territory we need to advance into. There we go. <clears throat> I have a feeling they don't exactly want to fight me. Just like the kind of vibe I get off of them right now. So you get four from you and I should get... Yeah, my men should not come out while it will... No, they won't come out until it's safe anyway, so that's fine. Try and get like forts done first. Okay, so I am losing ships. I'm I'm okay with that. You know what? I'm gonna block this motherfucking navy in. To allow my ships to go wherever they want safely. Right. Oh yeah, we've uh gonna break you. And one of these leaders will help me do it. Alright, then I maybe didn't need those uh, leaders to do that. Well, anyway, so let's plan this plot this uh, war. Right, we can't get that. So that'll have to do. That'll do. Oh, we're blocking off Yenagar from here at least.
Um, yeah, let's just keep moving on, I guess. And there we go. We've now unlocked all of the things. We've maxed out admin as well, which is uh, unfortunate. They should piece me out in a second. I had a feeling they would not take long to get these idiots out of the wall. And of course, I would be right, because they're... Uh... Well, as much as I call the AI idiots, they're not exactly idiots. They know when they've lost. Alright, I can go uh, go back to getting my ship, sh ship built. The thing is, I don't know how much shit's coming, so I'm just going to have to let him all my shit get there. And when it gets there, we will find out. We could kill Delhi. I mean, I, could pro I should probably do that before someone else does. Oh yeah, I should also probably call this. So, you know, uh, well, no one else can get in my... No, I, so I can then take more shit. Uh, so we've got a current piece with uh, Oristia of um, too long. So we're going to have to... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Himalayans at least on with me. Yeah, Russia declared one Vienna Gar again. I could, I could support them in this, but at the moment I'm just going to hold off. I'm going to wait until my navy's uh, got some more of its ships. I don't really know where uh, he's getting shit right now, so I'm just going to build wherever I can. It's a bit smarter than uh, just uh, doing nothing, I guess. Lose five grand, and I'm good. Ah, oh, Miwa, you're probably going to be soon. It's going to suck for you, but oh well. I feel like it sucks for Arisia because they lost about... only They only lost about 40% of their land, actually. It was just very expensive land, so it sucks for them, I guess. I should have cut this off, so I'm like, that way they couldn't, in the next part fight, like in part of the fight, they can't take my ships from me. I will hit 6k, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fucking fact. I will hit 6,000 before this uh, end play. Uh, let's play end. Let's play ends. There we go. Oh, I'm not making as much money as I once was. I wonder why. Well, I'm ruining out corruption. I have, any really, I have overly expensive fort costs. I mean, there's loads of reasons why. So in August of next year, I can pr quite literally go to war and do whatever I want again. Um, we'll see. The Inagar is going to get fucked over because they're at war with both the Ottomans and uh, Russia, so they're not in. A, they're not going to be in a great position. Like, not in a great position is kind of an understatement. The fucked would be more accurate. I did not, I do know that I've lost at least nine ships, so... Yeah, it's going to be fun to rebuild those nine ships. By fun, I mean a waste of fucking time, but whatever. They sound the same. Miwa, declare war on our tribute states. The tribute states are at war, that's fine. Wait, how did you... Oh, no, you declared one there, but you're just going to go take out Delhi first. I guess that's an okay like, move. I don't really... I don't really think it is, but I'm going to pretend, for the benefit of the doubt, that it is. Wait, did it was 86 or 85 that I could declare war again? August of next year, damn it. My military's maxed. What can I... What to do? Uh, you know what? We'll just save it for tech. Got to get that flying battery, you know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? Got to get that flying battery as it's the majority of our, like, it's at least half of our army. So. No, it's not actually. It's nearly half of our army. It's one half. It's, it's like 45% of our army. 49%, something like that. 48. I mean, I'm not going to do, like, maths to figure it fucking out. That's just effort. Just know that it is a large part of our army. And that's all that needs to be said. Yeah, I think I'm going to declare one for Yenigar. Probably going to do it right now.
Mostly because I don't believe uh, this uh, war... Um, I don't believe everything's uh, happened quick enough yet, so we just need to, uh, you know, we need to get involved. We need to show our face and uh, show people we're invested in this war. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to do the next part. If you guys have enjoyed, I'll see you guys next part. See you guys then.